What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of OSR's Quick Tips. In today's video, we are going to be checking out how you should actually be bursting or barraging. Popular spots for bursting or barraging include the Dust Devils in the Catacombs of Karen, Neck Rails in the Catacombs of Karen, and also the Undead Monkeys in the Monkey Madness 2 Catacombs. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using the neck rails as an example because we're only going to be looking at a couple of different aspects to make sure that you get the most out of your supplies you take as well as the most magic experience. The first thing you should know is why bursting or barraging is so successful at these places that I listed. Well, it's because each of these NPCs all have a magic level of 1. Now, when something has a magic level of 1, that means its magic defense is non-existent because magic defense is specifically correlated to the magic level of what you're fighting. So with that being said, what you want to focus on with something with level 1 magic is not your magic accuracy, but your magic damage. Because regardless of what your accuracy bonus is, it's not going to affect how often you do or don't hit. You want to increase your overall DPS and max hit, because in the long run, you're always going to hit the same amount of accuracy, so you want to increase those higher hits to get more experience per hour. On the screen here is a best in slot bursting or barraging setup. Now with this setup, I have the full ancestral set, which is 6%, the imbued Ceridoman God Cape, 2%, Occult Necklace, 10%, Tormented Bracelet, 5%, and the Kodai Wand, which is 15%, giving me a total magic damage boost of 38%. Now, that is what you want to see. You want that magic damage boost as high as possible. Now, following the magic damage boost, since we're not worried about accuracy, we don't need any other magic items, so we want to maximize our prayer bonus to make our trips last as long as possible. So with that, in the boot slot, I have the devout boots, the ring, I have a ring of the gods, a prayer book in your shield slot, any of them will work. They all give the same amount of prayer, and a Rada's blessing, which is plus two. If you don't have that, the Elite Diaries for Karen completed, any blessing will work. So basically, that is the gist of this video. When you are bursting or barraging for as much magic experience as possible, you want to choose damage, damage, damage. As many damage items as you can afford and wear, you will want to use those at all times. Following the damage, you want to maximize your prayer bonus to make your supplies last as long as possible. So that is going to do it, guys, for this episode of OSR's Quick Tips. I hope that it can point you in the right direction if you are looking for some awesome magic experience. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.